I know it's been a long time since I last spoke to you. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. And I guess I didn't have much to say until now. By the way, it's me, Pushotam. There's Radishan. He's 15 now, so he gets to ride the elephant. Rishai says that I could also ride up there too, but my legs are too short, so I might fall off. No one has ever fallen off the elephant before, but I don't want to be the first one. There's Baba, of course. After we left Florida, he moved us here to Mayapur because he thought this would be the best place for us to grow up. I was too young to remember much about America. All I really remember is my life here in Mayapur. I remember when I first came here, I thought this was just some nice place with cows, palm trees, and a ganga. But slowly, slowly, I realized that this is a very special place. Now, it just feels like home. So many people visit Mayapur from all over the world, for the deities, for the kirtans, for the festivals, and especially for learning about Krishna consciousness. I am also learning how to be a good devotee of Krishna, so that someday you can be proud of me. Maybe you already know this, but last year I received Upanayana. That means I am now learning puja and yagya. Not for the big deities, of course. Not yet, at least. In school, I've made so many friends from all over the world. I am now a vice group leader, which means that I take care of all these small boys. Like for example, there's Vasudev. He's seven, he's from Israel. Here's Marisham, he's eight, and he's from Russia. Nine. Same thing. Also in my service group is Sahadev. He likes to work in the backfield. He's 14, and he's from Ecuador. Colombia. Oh, right, Colombia. And there's the head boy who takes care of all of us. Shrigarbabu, from Colombia. Or was it Ecuador? Do I have some service to be doing for us? I know, I know. I'm almost done. This is Vedanta from Mumbai. This is Naren from Dubai. He's the kitchen in charge. That means if breakfast is late, like it is today, then it's his fault. No thanks to you, Puro. I'm busy. Little Baldev is from Taiwan. He's really good at kirtan. Big Baldev Mishai is from Latvia. Gopal is from New Zealand. And this is Mukunda. He was born in Mayapur. All the other boys say he's a pure devotee, that he talks to Tulsi Maharani and she actually talks back to him. I don't know if that's true. That's Radisham, of course. You might be happy to know that he really loves Sanskrit. He's one of the best in the whole school. Also, I wanted to introduce you to my best friend, Baba. She's really sweet and beautiful, and she weighs about 400 kilos. That's her. Yeah. And you should also meet Raju. Before his operation, he was really aggressive and tried to bite people. No, not him. That's Ramdas. I was talking about the horse. I don't ride him, though. It's mostly Garanga who does. Sometimes I wonder if the whole world comes to Mayapur to study your books, and if studying is so important, then why do I have to spend so much time shoveling cow dung? Adi Dave Mahasha was explaining why in class the other day. He said that we are not controllers and enjoyers, we are servants. Devotional service is what makes the soul happy. Every soul's duty is to serve Krishna. Service trains us to be humble, 
which is essential for bhakti. We're brahmacharis, so we serve our teachers, the school, and the whole Iskon family. That includes mother cow and father bull. But even they have to serve. Even though it's tiring, in the end of the day, it's worth it. If Krishna is satisfied, then we automatically feel satisfied. And when we all cooperate together in this spirit of service, the result is really nice. But today is actually less work than normal because it's Sunday, free day. We get to play. Go for archery. And meet our parents. Because my father is taking us somewhere really exciting. Somewhere he had promised to take us for a very long time. He said one of the directors of the TOVP, Raj Bilasu, is taking us on a special tour of the new temple. I've never been there before. I can't wait. Dear Srila Prabhupada, Because I'm young and foolish, I never really appreciated what it is you gave us. I want to thank you so much for starting Iskon Mayapur. Because of Mayapur, Krishna consciousness will last for a long time in this world, because everyone will come here to learn about it. You started 108 temples all over the world, Today, you have over 700 centers worldwide. But now, here comes the most important center of them all, the Mayapur Chandradaya Mandir. After the TOVP is finished, we'll be getting over 50 million visitors a year. Can you imagine all those people doing kirtan, taking prasadam, and reading our books? So, Sri 
I am trying to take up many responsibilities so I can make you happy. Please bless me so that in the future I can do something that will make you much more proud of ISKCON. But anyways, I have to sleep now because it's getting late and tomorrow is another big day. Thank you very, very much for your love and for showing me the path back to God. I can't wait for tomorrow. Thank you.